Hi, this is Brooks. I'm learning Java, and I thought it might be helpful for some of you who might be stuck on a problem if I show you how I solved some common exercises. Please remember there is always more than one way to solve a problem, and many of those ways might be better than mine, so try to solve it your way first. This problem wants us to reverse each word of a given string except for the first and last character. For example, given a string saying, this is a coding question for reversing a string, the output would be all of those words in reverse, except for the first and last character. Now the words that only have two or less characters will not be reversed because the first and last character makes up the entire word. So, To begin with, as we often do, just create our test string here that we're going to be reversing. If we're going to reverse the words and yet keep them in the same order in the string, we'll need to split this string up into words. I'll do that by making a string array and I'll call it words. And I'll populate that array by by splitting our input string based on a blank space. So every time it hits this blank space in this string, it'll split it and populate an array of strings with each of these words. Now, as I often do when working with strings, I'm going to make a string builder object because it gives us a lot more flexibility than regular strings do. I'll call it reversed word. And, as we also often do, we'll do a for each string, for each word, in our words array. The first thing I think we should do is store the first character and the last character into their own variables. The first character will be the character at index 0, and the last character will be the character at index what index? The length of the word being the last character, but we have to go minus one because the index begins at zero. So we'll say word dot length minus one. So now that we have the first and last characters safely stored away, we can reverse our word. We can use the string builder object we created before, reversed word, and append a string to it using word as our input parameter. And while we're here, we can reverse it. Now reversed word should hold each of these words in turn reversed. We still have to replace the first and last characters of the reversed word with those characters as they appeared in the original word. That's easy enough to do with our string builder object. We'll just use reversed word dot set character at and we'll give it the index we want to put the character in and then the character we want to use. So the index zero being the first character we will replace with the value that we put into our first variable. And then we'll do the same thing with our last variable. This time the index will be word.length minus one, just like it was up there. And we'll replace that with last. Now this reversed word object should hold each of these words one at a time as we go through the loop. Reversed, but with the first character 
replaced by the original first character and the last character of the reversed word replaced by the original last character of the unreversed word. And we can just print this out right here within the loop. And I'll put a little space in between to make it look pretty. Let's see how that looks. So this is obviously not right. I realize now that as I go through the loop, I'm just appending it over and over again to this same reversed word. What I should have done is instead of initializing it up here and creating it up here, I should have done that within the loop. So hopefully that will fix that. Let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think that might be it. Please let me know in the comments if you have suggestions for a better way of doing it. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button. I'll see you next time.